There, he's tied up. Do you really think this is a good idea? He'll probably totally refuse to cooperate now. You mean, as opposed to before? What are these people? Some kind of eco-terrorists? And where am I? Well, what now? Ah, my back. <laughs> old man or no, there's still life in these old bones of mine. You'll see. It's a little brittle in the middle, but otherwise in good condition. There's no point. Even if I used glue, it wouldn't hold. The only way to get the two together again is this. What a stupid plan, but it works. There, I can get out. Oh, hmm. I can see a radio terminal in the next room. If this Faye person wasn't around, I could try to make a call for help. The intercom is connected to the cockpit, but it doesn't make a difference because it's off. It connects the intercom to the cockpit. It runs through the wall and behind the bookshelf in the adjoining room.
Just a second. What's this? Some strange plastic net got caught in the earphones. I'd better take it. Reference books on journalism, politics, UFO research, and Jules Verne? And next to it, how to write a novel. And dictionaries. Norwegian Japanese, Norwegian Chinese, and Norwegian Korean. The projects some people plan for their life. An album with the title, My Very First Photos. An encyclopedia about comics. And a career planner with the title, Roving reporter in three days. There's a cable sticking out from behind the books. This cable here. I'd better remove the books first. A cable connects the cockpit with the intercom system in the other room. recording. Recording done. I haven't had this much excitement in years. This thing doesn't have a connection for open-ended cables. It only has one for ordinary headphones. Well, we are recording. You're lazing in the sun all day, and when you are needed, you just babble and stutter. Yeah, don't look like that. The innocent act doesn't cut it anymore. Okay, I got your tongue now? <laughs> you old bag of bones are nobody anyway. Lovely. A memorial for future generations. This thing doesn't have a connection for open-ended cables. It only has one for ordinary headphones. Check out your tongue now. <laughs> no one will miss these new-fashioned earphones. That could actually work. Nothing happens. The tape is fine, though. Must be the speakers. Nothing happens. The tape is fine, though. Must be the speakers. Might as well herald my coming with big fanfares. She would spot me immediately. I might as well herald my coming with big fanfares. She would spot me immediately.
nothing happens. The tape is fine, though. Must be the speakers. The intercom is connected to the cockpit, but it doesn't make a difference because it's off. I might as well herald my coming with big fanfares. She would spot me immediately. Oh, the pages weren't loose. They just seemed to be. More aftershave and the pages will dissolve completely. That should hold. No, oh, dear. <coughs> I hope this works out. Luckily, the smoke is blown out immediately. Well, the connection is established. and I take care of everything, and you just look on. Oh, uh, wh what's, what's up? What are, what are you doing here? I, I didn't say anything. You are a brat. Apologize. Uh, um, I'm sorry? For what? For, for the things I said. And what did you say? Nothing. Uh-oh. Now I did it. A discarded scientist against Bonnie and Clyde. Gee, that should be fun. I don't understand much about you and your time, but I don't deserve that. So stop changing the subject and tell me why. Faith! 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 The door! What? Bent? Looks like the tables have turned. Bent? Let me out! I don't doubt you pursue a noble cause, but the end doesn't always justify the means. I'm sorry, Bent. I was against violence. That was Augie's idea. I couldn't. I can't. We need you. So much depends on you. I've had enough of your lies. Bent, billions of people will die, and only you can save them. Nonsense. One man responsible for the future of mankind? I don't think so. It's true. Each one man. And you in particular. Please, let me tell you the rest of the story. It doesn't take place in the future, but here in Norway. Maybe that will be easier for you to believe. I would love to believe that my algae will one day power the whole world. But one thing's for certain, I'll not leave it in your hands. You gambled away my trust. But what will happen with it? I'm the only one left that still believes in your research. You don't even believe in it anymore. Enough. No more fooling around. Faye, look, I'm gonna help you. Just you wait and see. One, two, three, and... <clears throat> Talked about this like adults, but you don't leave me a choice. I will never, ever. <sighs> ha! Told you so. The old goat is almost done in for. He's right. The old goat is almost done in for. Time for plan B. 
I must be careful not to become as... Great idea. Well... And now, leave me alone, please. How can you be so stubborn? Excuse me? How can you spurn your responsibilities like that? Huh. Now you listen to me. My whole life, I fought to prevent the kind of world you described. I was so possessed with the future, I even sacrificed my family for it. And then, out of the blue, a woman knocks on my door and dares to tell me I spurn my responsibilities? I... I didn't know that. I just want to be left in peace, for Christ's sake. And since I can't get that here, I'm going to call the authorities now. I'm sorry. So am I. Hello? Mayday. Mayday. I am being kidnapped. Can someone hear me? Hello? I can hear you. Who's there? My name is Ben Svensson. I am being held by a group of maniacs. Svensson? Yes. I think I'm on board a helicopter. I've no idea what they are planning. They came to my house, told me some fairy tales. Then they knocked me out. I'm being kidnapped, for Christ's sake. Do you read me? Hello? Are you still there? Yes, I'm still here. Turn on the monitor. Beg your pardon? Do you see that, Svensson? Do you see that? It's not a fairy tale. It's the truth. No. Take a good look, Bent. What you are seeing is your future. No. Liars. Crooks. Curse you, I'll... Yeah, that's how I reacted, too. I think it's time to tell the rest of the story. Oh, may I? Don't get me wrong, but your version always sounds so... dry. May I introduce myself? My name is Life Ogerson, but my friends call me Agi. I'm a freelance journalist. I was working on my report about the demonstration in front of the headquarters of the Energy Inspection Authority. I was sitting right there at the cutting desk when it happened. Hmm? Who's there? What? We are here.